welcome to this week's edition of Hottie Toddy Homemade. I am your game day gourmet Betsy Kelly, where I show you easy and delicious recipes, perfect for the grove, right field, or just any time that you are in the mood for party food. So what we'll be making today is a toasted bread topped with basil and tomato, or more commonly referred to as bruschetta. This recipe is really light and has a really nice flavor and is the perfect addition to any table. So for our ingredients today, we will need one baguette sliced into just about small little pieces, four tomatoes that have been chopped and seeded, which I did in my pre-prep before the show, a cup of basil, fresh basil that has been chopped, salt and black pepper, some olive oil, and a teaspoon of garlic. Okay, so for our first step, I'll move my mixing bowl over there. We're going to take our pieces of bread and just lay them out on my cookie sheet so that we can toast them in a 450 degree oven. The oven at 450 degrees is really hot, so you want to check on your toast about every five minutes to make sure they don't burn. So I'll stick these in here so we can start on the other steps. You don't need to just keep it on there. Okay, nice and warm. So while those are toasting, we will start on our topping. So I've got my mixing bowl. I will take my tomatoes. Now I'm using Roma tomatoes because they have a really nice, rich flavor. They're not too strong of a tomato taste, and they're red. They're really red and really pretty, which is what this dish is all about. Presentation as always. So I'll add these to our mixing bowl. Okay, and to that, I'll add our cup of fresh top basil. Now basil is a summer herb, so it's kind of harder to find fresh when it is winter time. But with the summer and the spring coming and all those outdoor baseball games, this is the perfect light snack to take with you. So to this, we will just add about a teaspoon of garlic. Again, I'm using the prepackaged kind. A little bit of fresh ground black pepper. And some coarse sea salt. And you want to be careful on the salt because salt can really kill a dish if you use too much. So you can just add a little bit and then if you need to add more later for flavor, you can do that. And we will finish it all by drizzling with olive oil. Okay, now that we have this nice blend of all our ingredients, I'm going to take two mixing spoons and just gently toss it all together. And you can really get a nice mix of all the colors and it smells so good with that basil and that garlic. And now that we're finished blending all of our tomatoes and basil, I think our toast is ready. And it's only been about four minutes, so you really need to keep an eye on it. Oh yeah, they're nice and toasted. Not too much, just enough to give a little crunch when we have our topping on top. Okay, so now to finish up this recipe, all you have to do is take a little bit of your basil and tomato and olive oil and top it on one of your toasts. And there you go. It's the perfect snack. It's so easy, and everyone is going to love it. So you've got a really nice, colorful blend of the red and green on your bread. It looks so pretty. It reminds you of Italy. And actually, this dish often in America, you'll see it on menus, and people refer to it as bruschetta. But when I was in Italy, uh, they actually corrected me and said that it was actually pronounced bruschetta. But I don't really think it matters what you call it as long as it's good. Finishing up with our bruschetta, I will get my plate out. We have a green plate to contrast with the dark green of the basil. And I will set these on here because remember, presentation is everything. And I really hope you watched and enjoyed and get a chance to make this because it is a big day for the Rebels today with home games in baseball and basketball. Or sometime soon, I hope you get to make and enjoy this with your friends and family or any Rebel fan. Because the quickest way to a Rebel's heart is through his stomach. So make sure you keep it hotty toddy homemade.